So let's start off with SGP, no? Now, tong SGP, you may have noticed na I adjusted my levels a little bit na uh, based sa mga changes na nangyari na sa chart over time, no? Uh, for now, ano nga ba yung nangyayari dito? After natin magkapataas, we have been trading within this range between 12.5 and 11.9. Okay? Nagkaroon tayo ng konting overshoots here and here, pero so far, wala tayong clear-cut na continuation patuloy pataas. Di ba? So, ang masasabi natin for now is yes, we're still trading within this range here. Yes, we're trading on the upper bound of the range, but nothing significantly bullish has occurred just yet. Now, let's say that we can start trading above 12.5. Then that opens up the possibility na mabalik mabalikan natin tong 13 pesos. Pero let's say na bumaba na naman siya, lalo na if we break beneath the half uh, halfway point ng range na to, around 12.2, 12.10, then highly likely we will come back and revisit tong 11.9 na low end ng range. At kung mabasag man etong low end ng range na to, then the possibility exists na magbalikan natin either yung gap fill all the way down dito sa 11.36 or perhaps we can find support where we had previous support here prior to price moving higher. Okay? Uh, but for now, again, uh, wala pang clear-cut na bullish na sign. Yes, we moved up but we're still ranging within this area here. Uh, I want to see moving forward kung ano yung gagawin nito if we can break above tong 13 pesos. If we can break above tong 13, then that opens up yung avenue na mabalikan natin tong mga previous highs and inflection points na naiwan natin from before. no. And hopefully, kung mangyari man yun, yun yung maging simula ng potential na mag-move na ulit tong SGP higher. Uh, dito naman sa ABS-CBN, again, there's really not that much to say just yet. Itong range na nag-form between 14.44 hanggang 11.06, essentially, price is still trading within that. Yes, we have been trading within this tighter range between 11.9 to 13.36, but all that really shows is kung mabasag natin itong 13.36 to the upside, that opens up the possibility na number one, ma-fill natin tong gap na naiwan from before or mabalikan natin tong high end ng range natin at 14.44. Kung mabasag naman tayo to the downside, meaning we break below 11.9, then baka mabalikan natin yung support na nag-form dito around 11 pesos. Okay? So far, there's really not much to show na, okay, sige, nagiging bullish na ulit tong ABS na ah, baka sundan niya yung tinahak ng GMA7. Wala pa eh. Even if you zoom out and look at this from a wider perspective, we are still ranging within this very, very wide area. Okay? Tapos, even if you zoom in, di ba, and you look at each candlestick, there's really not much na, kubaga eh, kwento or context na nabubuo. Ang nakikita ko lang, personally, is nothing. We're still just ranging. Uh, we're still just trapped in chop. And we're waiting for something to change bago natin pwedeng ma-reassess at pag-aralan ulit tong ABS. So let's look at GMA7 naman, no? Itong GMA7, uh, ang sabi natin nun, nag-form tayo ng double top sa area na to. And there was a chance na pwedeng i-revisit yan ng price uh, as it tried to move higher, di ba? Kaso, even with yung uh, high yield dividends na binigay ng GMA7, we never really pushed much higher from here. And in fact, sa April 20, X date na tayo. So the expectation is pagdating ng X date, uh, baka magkaroon tayo ng konting sell-off that might push price lower. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised na sa April 20, makahanap tayo ng gap down and price at the very least revisits tong 15.14 na support or even breaks it. Baka balikan niya yung gap dito. Tapos, if it stays beneath tong 15.14, then the next move might be to the downside na balikan natin tong support at 13.82 all the way down hanggang 13.28. Am I a bit surprised na hindi siya tumulak a little bit higher despite the dividends? A little bit, no? Pero by and large, hindi na naagulat yung market eh. As I said repeatedly, the market will do whatever it wants to do and there's really not much any of us can do or say to change that. 
Ang sa atin lang is nakakapag-react tayo and adhere to our plans and hopefully yung plano na yon well research on our part and merong edge over time no now if you're intending to hold this in the long term ang paalala ko lang ulit is yung ex date tignan natin kung ano yung mangyayari uh, bago tayo mag-commit wholeheartedly as to what might happen next okay in fact the main reason why I wanted to look at this today is I wanted a baseline para after nung ex date niya, pwede nating balikan tong GMA7 and discuss what's happened then compared to now. Now, could still price come back and revisit tong highs na to before the ex date happens? Sure. But right now, it's looking unlikely kasi nga, we're only a couple of days away and we haven't really made headway towards that push. Okay? Now, from a purely technical standpoint, let's say kalimutan muna natin yung X-date, what can we look at? If price can come back and break above tong 16.66, obviously, new 52-week high, and pwede na naman natin tignan yung mga all-time high traders, breakout, uh, breakout traders, we can watch them all come in, and we can see how the market reacts. Will we hold above this level? Will we fake out? I don't know. Yeah, but if we can hold above that level, then that's a good sign that maybe we can start pushing even higher from there. However, kung babalik tad naman, let's say nag-breakdown tayo, beneath nitong 15.14, holds underneath, then starts rolling uh, lower. Okay, then same scenario sa diniscuss natin kanina, baka balikan natin yung support na nag-form sa area na to. Okay, kapag mabasag pa tong area na to, then medyo mas magmumukhang delikado na, no? kasi essentially we are breaking down beneath this range. So what happens next will remain to be seen, but we'll be sure to discuss this further after yung X date ng GMA7. Uh, next, silipin po natin tong medic. No? Now, itong medic, uh, there's really not much to say still. Uh, I understand baka siya request ng mga tao. Siyempre, we're trying to see in one way, shape, or form kung may some type of reversal ba na pwedeng maganap. And I wish I had better news or I wish I had the better read. Pero sa totoo lang, wala eh. Uh, we can simplify this a lot by just thinking of it this way. For now, we are trading between 80 cents and 97 cents. If we can break above, ay below 80 cents, then obviously, new low na naman tayo and we're gonna have to wait and see what price does from there. Kung ano yung bagong structure na mabubuo. Before we can talk about potential reversals, potential divergences, or kung ano pa man din po yung hinahanap natin with regards to quote-unquote reversals na baka from there magsimula ng tumaas yung price. Okay? Now, I would like to remind you now when we say reversals, at least the way I say it, it doesn't necessarily mean na full-blown reversal na babawiin natin lahat ng talo along the way. It just means na there could be a short-term reversal na magaganap. But right now, short term or long term, wala pa talaga. Okay? If naman we can break above 0.97, para sa akin, hindi pa rin tayo pwedeng huminga ng, ah, okay, nice, by reversal na. For me, a break above 0.97 just tells me to, ha, huh, baka kailangan ako na itong tignan. Kasi from there, if we can reclaim tong 1.02 and start trading above it, then yon. Pwede nating sabihin na baka may short-term reversal at bare minimum na pwedeng maganap and we could revisit these highs here at 1.18, 1.24, and so on no? along the way up. Now, whether or not kaya nating bawiin tong entire move na to, hindi ko alam. Okay? Eh, di ko alam ano yung mangyayari sa market and anyone who says otherwise <laughs> well they're much 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 better than me no but for now at least uh, yun yung tinitingnan ko if we can reclaim 1.02 then we can expect at least some type of short term reversal possibly revisiting tong 1.18 or 1.24 but until then I would stay away lalo na wala naman tayong shorting sa PSE no kung meron shorting then Maybe we can look at a potential short dito sa medic, pero wala eh. Okay? So until then, I would stay away and nood-nood muna. Let's watch and see what develops dito sa medic before committing our hard-earned money. And then finally, tignan po natin tong GT cap. Now again, sa bigger picture, we are still trading within this range here. Very clear cut naman at kitang-kita yung range, No? Uh, so, I just wanted to show you that before we zoomed in a little bit. 
Now, as always, kapag malalaki yung range, I want to segment it to see if there's areas where I can trade from. Right now, wala pa. Okay, right now, we're trading between 495 and 552. Kung bumalik ba siya dito sa support, ibig sabihin, trade ko na, not necessarily, no? Again, depending on how everything sets up, then I might be enticed to trade it. But as of right now, uh, there's no real reason uh, to be optimistic about a potential trade that could shape up dito sa GT Cap. If we can come back up and reclaim tong 552, same banana. It won't be an easy trade going back to 603. Again, bakit? Kasi ang dami na natin chop along the way. Diba? So malamang maraming tao na naipit dito sa chop na to thinking na, oh, we could push higher from here na if we can come back, reclaim above 552, sila rin yung magbebenta. Sila yung magsusubok lumabas. Yes, if we break above 552, we could come back and reclaim, fill these gaps from before. Okay, but whether or not that would yield a, an attractive risk reward is very doubtful. Okay? So for me, dito sa nangyayari ngayon sa GT Cup, konting ingat-ingat lang. Just because we break above our levels, it doesn't necessarily mean na dapat trade natin siya or may clear cut na mabubuo. Okay? If we break down, if we break beneath 495, what I would be watching out for is a break beneath pa nitong 470. Why? Kasi if we can break beneath 470, that opens up to mga levels from before na untouched pa. Hindi pa nababalikan ng price. Diba? Bumitin to eh. Hindi niya nabalikan to. So technically speaking, this is, I wouldn't go so far as to say new canvas, pero fresh canvas. Diba? An area na hindi pa natin nababalikan. So if we can break down and come back to these levels from before, then it might be worth watching from there kung ano yung gagawin ng price moving forward. But where we are right now, ang hirap talaga kasi we're just caught within a lot of chop. I realize na minsan nakakapagsawa na pakinggan yun. Mag-request kayo ng stock ta sabihin ko, ay choppy. But unfortunately, those are the conditions that we find ourselves currently in, no? Dito sa PSE. My advice is to Kung wala kayo na ikitang super easy, super clear cut na trade, keep your powder dry. Stay on the sidelines. Stay in cash. Okay lang yun. Okay? Hindi kailangan magpumilit na maghanap ng trade palagi. If you must, go trade other markets. Go trade crypto. Go trade forex. Pero right now, and I realize this isn't good for my channel, <laughs> but my real advice is, kung wala kayong clear cut na naikita, stay away. It's okay. Keep abreast. Diba? Keep watching my videos. I'll watch the market for you. Diba? Hayaan nyo na ako magbantay. Pag gumaganda na yung condition, sasabihin ko naman sa inyo eh. Pero right now, the conditions still aren't optimal. So the best play is to watch and maybe wait sa mga area na magaganda yung value sa mga stocks na binabantayan nyo, lalo na yung mga index names. Kunyari, gusto nyo makabili ng uh, Ali or ng SMPH at a premium price. Then perhaps, meron kayong gustong paghintayan. Yun, pwede nating abangan. Sakaling bumaba at mahit yung mga levels na yun, then we can watch out for it. Gusto ko makabili ng Jollibee at 100 pesos. It's likely not gonna happen again, but let's say it did. Then at least nakahanda tayo. Diba? But forcing trades in this type of environment is a good way na masunog yung mga accounts natin. So guys, dito po nagtatapos yung video natin. No? I hope nakatulong po to sa inyo kahit konti and may natutunan kayo kahit papano. And if so, I would really appreciate it if you give this video a like and consider subscribing to my channel. And as always guys, maraming maraming salamat po sa panonood. I really really appreciate it. Good luck and happy trading!